Spring sports are here at Baldwin Wallace, and so we sit down with the softball coach for BW, Tom Spencer, as the Yellow Jackets get ready for the season to start literally in 48 hours, and it's going to be an awfully fun trip for those who play. They get a chance to travel to Arizona and Hawaii, and we will certainly dive into their uh, their big spring break trip here shortly. But first, Tom, thanks for the time, and, and going to enjoy looking forward to seeing what the program's all about. No problem. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Let's start with the fact that the season is here. The off season now is really officially behind you. The, the first game is less than 48 hours away. I have to imagine that probably feels pretty good. Yeah, we're all ready to play. You know, we're always, uh, we're usually cooped up in a gym practicing for three, four weeks. This year, for the first time in my coaching career, um, we were actually able to get on our field prior to spring break. I mean, it's been such a nice winter, so we, we have had the luxury of getting outside and, you know, playing on the dirt a little bit, but still, the kids are ready to go. I have to imagine that, uh, especially for a really young group, getting outside before the season <coughs> starts had to be helpful. It's huge. Uh, we have 18 roster players, 13 of them are freshmen and sophomores. So it was huge for us to get out on the dirt, especially if we're going to be going out west. Every team we are playing will have already had anywhere from four or five games on up to 14 or 15 games under their belt. So it's, it's huge for us to get out on the dirt and get on a regular playing field rather than our gym. Let's talk about this trip. I have to imagine that most schools try to go somewhere warm, especially if you're in the northern half of the United States. But I can't imagine that everybody has a chance to go play for a couple days in Arizona and then go spend... Uh, basically the rest of your spring break in Hawaii. I, I would imagine that most of your team probably hasn't been out there, right? I believe we've had one player that's been there. Wow. And, and no other. In fact, we've had a couple girls haven't even flown on an airplane. So that's that's a little experience in itself when you have a first time on a plane. But, uh, but yeah, we, we try to go to Arizona. That's our favorite place to go. Last year we went to Florida. Uh, but we try to go to a warm climate. A couple years ago we, we had a meeting with our girls and we talked about this, setting this goal of, having a special spring trip. We've been fundraising like crazy for the last couple of years, and finally we put it all together, and it's come all together, and we're all set to go. So we're going to head out to Arizona and play four games, then hop on a plane from Phoenix and head out to Honolulu and play six games, and we're also going to kind of enjoy the experience out there, give them the, the full experience of Hawaii, attend Pearl Harbor, do some other sightseeing things on our off day. So we're, they're really excited and they're really looking forward to it. Do you think that the ability to go on a trip like that uh, and tie in some of the other educational and, and – um, you know, experience type things of being in a, a place like Hawaii. Do you think the fact that your team is going to get to do some of that will actually help them stay focused when they're on the field? Uh, I hope so. I mean, we'll never know till we get out there, but uh, we've preached that we are out there, number one, to play softball. We need to be ready to play every day. Uh, granted, we're going to have that, you know, the day off, we're going to be at the beach, we're going to have some fun, but we're going to get refocused again in the morning before we head out to the field and and hopefully it will give them a little break. Sometimes you got the spring break and you're playing for six straight days. They get tired. First couple days we get there and they're in bed at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. But by the fourth or fifth day, they're so drained, they're in bed by 8 or 9 o'clock. So hopefully this will give them that little break that they need. Let's talk a little bit about the program on the whole. This is a program at Baldwin Wallace that certainly has a, a pretty rich history. You've been able to lead it now for a little while. But you've also coached other sports here at BW. How has your experience coaching those other sports made you a better softball coach? I think any, any coaching experience in any sport makes you a better coach. Um, dealing with people is probably the number one most important part. Most coaches know the X's and O's, but dealing with the student athlete, especially the student athlete of today, because things have changed. You've got social media in the picture. Uh, nowadays, kids talk to their parents on a daily basis. When I first started, they may have talked to their parents once a week. Uh, but everything has changed, and in, in, you know, the students in general student lifestyle in general has changed and uh, any kind of experience you can have dealing with more kids whether it's in the classroom which I've also had that luxury to do or in other sports it's beneficial. That's pretty cool to see that uh, the program has certainly grown and obviously is so young at this point. As you look forward to this season I know it's a young group so maybe the expectations are somewhat up in the air but what are you hoping for? I think we're going to be very competitive. Uh, we're young but we're probably the most talented group we've had maybe since we went to the NCAA tournament a few years back. Uh, but there's going to be that inexperience factor. We're going to make some mistakes. We see it in practice every day. We're trying to correct them as we go along. But, uh, but I think we're going to be very competitive, and I think we'll be right in the middle of the, of the mix to get to the OAC tournament. You've talked uh, a couple of times about the fact that you were able to get outside. The Jackets, in the very near future, will have a new home. It won't be far away, just across the street, not far away from where, uh, where they currently play, but 
I have to imagine that in, in terms of your program's pride and, and in the tradition you continue to build, having a new place to call home wouldn't be such a bad thing. It's going to be great. Uh, you know, we're showing all our recruits they're excited about it. Our current players are really excited about it. Um, it's going to be an all-turf field. Uh, we don't have to worry about rainouts, uh, which helps our kids in terms of class planning and things like that. They don't have to worry about missing as much class. It's just going to be awesome. Um, you know, we have great facilities here at BW. Maybe we've lacked a little bit from the softball standpoint, but now the university has seen that and they've taken action and, and we're, we're taking care of that situation. Whether it's uh, a high school senior or potentially even a high school junior uh, or someone who might want to transfer to the program, first of all, how can they reach you and, and what would be some of the things that you would want those students to know about your program? They can reach me. They can go on the website, call me, send me an email, whatever they want to do, and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Uh, I want to let them know our goal again is to, first of all, we want everybody to graduate. We want everybody to get a great education and we want everybody to come here. We want to win the championship and we want to have fun doing it. Can't wait to see what the Yellow Jackets have in store here in 2017. Thanks, appreciate it. All right. We'll continue to preview the, uh, the spring sports seasons as we go along, but best of luck to the Yellow Jackets on their West Coast trip as they get things started on the softball field.